G'day everyone, my name is Dave and I am the online and social media pastor at North Point in Atlanta. I also have my own YouTube channel where I give out social media tips and photography hacks to churches and two minute devotional videos designed to help people take the next practical steps in their spiritual journey. You can check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Aussie Dave Adamson. I also post devotionals on Instagram where I use my own original photography from around the world to teach about 34,000 people about the historical and cultural context of Jesus and the Bible every day. I would love if you checked out my Instagram account. You can find it by searching for at Aussie Dave. Now, because I use social media and YouTube and online streaming to pastor people, one of the main questions I always get asked is how can I pastor people online when it's so impersonal? And I understand that question. I mean, in the world of YouTube and social media, everything can seem so impersonal. I mean, people really only post the best parts of their life, right? Which can make it easy for us to compare our real life to someone else's highlight reel. So when it comes to creating and posting content on YouTubes, <laughs> YouTubes, on YouTubes, so because of this, when it comes to creating and posting on YouTube, I live by three main rules. The first rule is that we were born to be real, not perfect. When we see people only posting the best parts of their life, it can be easy for us to want to do the same. We choose not to post the real parts of our life, but instead post only those highlights, stand out moments. But when we do that, we stop being real and start trying to be perfect. Rule number two is if you want to make a difference in the world, then you have to be different from the world. The only way to combat this highlight real approach to YouTube is to actually let people in, to let them see the real you. We have to start letting people see behind the curtain, even to see our bloopers. I wet my hair, ow, ow, Whoosh. ow, I actually hit myself. What was I thinking? My name is Dave, and have you ever wondered? Ah. <laughs> oh. Uh, but today, uh, <clears throat> why am I losing my voice? <sighs> I'm winded. There's so much noise. There's so much noise. Freedom! I really hope this stuff comes off. Real life may not always be pretty, but we have to be willing to share it anyway. Now, sometimes this could mean posting authentic stories from within your church community. Other times it might mean posting short form videos to YouTube about how you're trying to practically apply the message from Sunday to the rest of your week. And at other times it may simply be avoiding the temptation to overproduce your videos and instead using a run and gun style of shooting where you've just got a single camera and one light. Here's the simple setup that I use for most of my videos including this one. You can find out more about this rig at kit.com forward slash Aussie Dave. And the third rule that I live by on YouTube is this simple formula that I think can make all the difference. Personal is greater than personality. When you start posting on a platform like YouTube, it can be easy to assume that a big on-screen personality is what's going to bring you success. And while this may be true for people who are monetizing their channel, for churches and Christians using YouTube, we have a different goal. Our driving motivation for leveraging YouTube is not to make money or invest in wealth, but to make connections and invest in people. And this happens when we choose to put being personal ahead of being a personality. This was a lesson I learned when I decided to post a video about the real me. I'm a husband, I'm a dad, and I'm a pastor. I'm also a photographer and I love using my camera to tell stories. I'm a wannabe rock star. I'm not as good a musician as I want to be, but I'm better than I ever thought I would be. I get easily distracted. What is this stuff? I really need to fix that light. 
phones going off. Why is there a model of Hogwarts right there? I have about a hundred ideas every day. Seriously. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I cry a lot. I really love traveling with my wife and I wish we could do a lot more of it. I absolutely love laughing with her, but I love watching her laugh even more. We are the proud parents of three daughters. So please be praying for us. I used to be a TV sports reporter in Australia. Honest. For seven years, I worked on a program that was basically our version of ESPN Sports Center. And of course, we'll have all the details on Sports Tonight. I currently work in social media. I love hosting and being on podcasts. I'm a wannabe YouTuber. I am a social media and online pastor, but I never ever planned on being a professional Christian. If I'm honest, I never actually planned to become a Christian. I was sexually abused by an uncle when I was six years old until I was about 11. Because of this sexual abuse, I wet the bed until I was about 16. Growing up, I was bullied a lot. I spent most of my childhood trying not to let anyone see how scared or alone I was. I started following Jesus in high school because someone wanted to be my friend. And then that person prayed for me, personally. But more than just sharing my story, I went a step further. I decided to become a pastor while I was still on TV in Australia because a pastor I listened to in America gave me his phone number and asked me to call him. That call changed my life because that pastor got personal. And now I want to do the same for you. I want to make a connection and get really personal. So if you've got any questions, need someone to talk to, or just need prayer, then I want you to text my phone, 201-831-7155, and I will respond personally because faith is personal. I didn't want to just use YouTube for one-way communication like a megaphone. I wanted to use it to create an opportunity for two-way communication like a telephone. And the result was powerful. After getting personal and giving out my cell phone number, I've literally had hundreds of people text me. And I've had the chance to encourage them, pray for them, support them, offer them advice and insights, and cheer them on. My decision to be authentic and real gave my audience the opportunity to go second and share their struggles too. And that's because the world is changed by your example, not your opinion. I mean, if you want your YouTube channel or your social media platforms to be impersonal, then just keep posting impersonal content. But if instead you want to use this technology to make a deep personal connection, then you have to get personal. You see, the reality is that in the modern day world, people will connect with your church before they connect within your church. They will connect with your church through YouTube and social media long before they ever walk through the doors of your building. So if you want a church community that is authentic and personal, then you have to stop using YouTube and social media to invite people to events and instead use YouTube and social media to invite people to conversations. So those are my three rules for YouTube. Be real, be personal, and be what was the last one? So those are my three rules for YouTube. Be real, be different. So those are my three rules for YouTube. Be real, be different, and be personal. Thanks so much for watching.